Hey everyone, welcome to another Cooter's Cards. Um, I want to go through some of the cards I found at some of my auction buys that I bid on and win. And I'm going to go through some of the basketball cards that I received. And then I'm going to go through a couple of warnings and some things that I have learned uh, from buying some of the things at auction. So maybe kind of a buyer beware type deal. So um, you guys can look out in the future if you get any chance to bid on any auction stuff. But I want to go through some of the basketball cards that we got here. Uh, the first card we have is Steve Nix. This is a 1979-80 Topps basketball card. The front looks pretty good. The back's not centered very well. I got a bad feeling a lot of these cards were like this. The next card we have is ML Carr. Same year on there. The 79-1980. The front of the, that card looks pretty good on the centering. And the back's a little bit off like the other one. Not as bad as the uh, Steve Nix card, but a little bit off-centered. Then one of the other finds I got was a Wayman Teasdale. The Fleer card from 1987-88, his rookie card on there. The front looks really good on the back one. The back is a little bit off-centered too, but not too awfully bad. But for a rookie card for Wayman Teasdale, it's not a bad looking card. Next up, we have another rookie card, Clarence Weatherspoon. And his is the Fleer Ultra. This is the 92-93 Fleer Ultra. This is his rookie card. Good looking card, front and back. Good looking corners everywhere. Some of these come with, they all came in these hard covers when I, when I won them. Some of them are a little bit scratched up. The cards are in excellent shape, but the covers look a little bit scratched on there. This is the same year top, 70, 79 to 1980, Bob Dandridge with the Washington Bullets. Same thing, the front looks pretty good and the back's a little bit off-centered. Next one up, we have the Kevin Love, a Panini uh, Select card from 2014-2015. And it's a nice looking card. Good corners on there all the way around on this card. And front and back looks pretty good. As you get to the newer cards, they tend, I think, to look a little bit better. A little bit better cut and everything else than some of the older cards. Then I've got a Steve Nash card. That's a Topps 2005-2006. And I think this is a little bit special because the, the name is in the silver border down here. So I think that's a little bit special. And that's a pretty good looking card. The corners and everything else front and back on there. Next up, we have the Christian Leitner rookie card. The top 92-93 Fleer Ultra rookie card for Christian Leitner. Front and the back on this card both look really good. And then a Scotty Pippen card. 1991 NBA Hoops card. And this card's got a little bit of wear around the edge up there. A little bit on the corner down there. Overall, not a bad looking card, but probably not worth sending out to get graded. We got a Dirk Nowitzki card. This is a 2000 Topps gold label card. And this card looks pretty nice. Corners and everything else on it. Whoever did get these cards, put all of them in the hard cases and put them in penny sleeves and then slid them in there. They came out pretty nice. And uh, the back on here looks really good. This is a numbered card. This is 279 out of 1,000. So that's a pretty nice looking card. Then we got another rookie card of uh, Tim Hardaway. This is a Skybox card, a 1990. And his rookie card from... Uh, from that year. Pretty nice looking card all the way around there too. Another card that we got on there was a Charles Barkley. This card's a little bit a little bit of wear around the corners, a little bit of wear on there, but whoever put them on there when they got them the auction had already done this there, so I I'm just showing you showing you what we got on there. And a little bit on some of these auctions I bid for some of the cards that I can see that I know might have a little bit of value and then some of the other stuff comes with it. Uh, this is a Michael Jordan card that was in there. This is a 1989 NBA Hoops card, the All-Star Game card. And that's a pretty nice looking card. 
Centering on the back looks like it's a little bit off, but that's a pretty nice looking card. The next card we have is a 91, 91 92 upper deck Michael Jordan card. I think this is just a team checklist card, but that's a nice looking card on the on the front and the back up there. Coming up next, we got a Sean Sean Kemp rookie card. This is a 1989 uh, Skybox card. Oh, um, no, sorry. This is the NBA Hoops card, his rookie card coming in for the Seattle Supersonics. This looks like a pretty nice card. Little bit of white showing around the corners, not really bad. Centering and everything else looks pretty good front and back on this card. Then we got the Skybox rookie card of Sean Kemp. <clears throat> this is a good looking card. Good straight edges and corners and everything else. Front looks pretty centered and the back looks pretty centered on there too. And then the last card I got on this one by, uh, my favorite card out of the group is the Shaquille O'Neal rookie card with the magic. And this is his tops rookie card. It's a 1992. I think the gold in the letters down here for the draft pick was standard for all the cards there, but the corners look really sharp on this. The centering looks pretty good on it. And the back looks pretty good on here. So that's a, that's a nice looking card. Then I thought I would go into, um, if you see the boxes back here in the background, that's some of the other stuff that I've won. Some of my previous videos, I had the, uh, the tops box right there, the 1990. I had a jumbo box that I opened up and I opened it up because it was like this box that I'm going to open up sometime in the future that wasn't sealed. I don't know if the packs were put in there in any kind of order and you could tell, you know, people could pick out packs so it might not be a complete one. That's why I'm going to order it. I've got the studio, the Fleer Ultra, two boxes of that that look like, see now this box, the Fleer Ultra on this side has the Fleer name on there and it looks like it's never been opened this one over here do doesn't have the Fleer name on there and I don't know if someone else shrunk wrap you know open it up and then sh you know re-shrunk wrap it and stuff to make it look like it hasn't been ordered the leaf set over here still has the leaf printing on the uh, box there so I'm pretty sure that one's never been open and then the stadium club series two there I'm not sure about that one either but then to go through some of the uh cases that I won. This one was all sealed up with tape and you can see the tape was all yellowed on there and everything else. I didn't know what to expect so I opened it up and went through it and I put all the cards in order and found out I actually had a complete set minus one card which was just a common card. The only problem was uh, finding them anymore. Going to the baseball card stores we have locally and finding an older set from 1991 to uh, find a common card is pretty hard, but I did find one um, in some boxes later on. So this is now a complete set. I put the star cards that were in there in penny sleeves and then put everything back and put them in order and stuff, pneumatic, you know, the pneumatic order in there. And then this is the, this is the box that started it all for me. I bought this one and it was sealed a lot like the one back there where the box looked like it might have been open. And it was pretty hard to tell. The more I looked at it, I didn't think I didn't like the idea of selling it to anyone and what they might find in there. So I went ahead and opened it up. And here's what I found: all the star cards were gone. Anything that had any value out of this year, and they had filled it back up in the cases with Pokemon cards. And they all none of them look like there's any value on these things or not, but um it had probably if you guys take a look down in there, it had that many Pokemon cards in there. So that was one of the things I learned, too, that if I'm going to bid on any any stuff online, if I can't go look at it, I bid on the cards that I can see, what I know the value might be. And I'm real careful that if it goes over that value, I quit bidding on it, let someone else take it, because I don't want to take a chance with stuff like this anymore. And um, it's stuff you're not going to be able to probably sell to anyone. If you don't have a complete set, you're not going to be able to complete it. And if the star cards are gone, you're going to lose your money. So anyway, if that helps you out, if you guys buy anything, let me know. Hit the subscribe and a like button. And we'll uh, open up some more of these boxes in the future and go through some more of the stuff that I get. Thank you for watching.